Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. This is a pretty big device. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset. And to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen lock pin that was used, or if we tap on Use My Google Account instead, There we go. It'll pull up to this other page that tells us that the other option to get through the rest of the setup is to sign in with a Google account that was previously used on the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't get back in, uh, like, they couldn't, like they couldn't remember their login information or couldn't change their password for whatever reason, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, obviously the buyer wasn't going to have any of the previous user's login info. And in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here today to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login info. It's something that we do directly to the device while it's plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we're doing here with this one. So, actually before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the necessary work to get the lock removed. The last step here is just to restart the device. So as you can see there, it was on the Google lock screen and then we're just going to restart it. And then after that, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the, the initial setup steps without the device asking for that previous Google account. So just one sec here while it finishes booting up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit start there and begin going through all of the steps. We've got agree to the terms and conditions, first of all. Then there's permissions to agree to. And now we actually don't even need Wi-Fi, so we're just going to go ahead and turn that off and then hit skip down here. We're going to hit skip anyway. We don't need to copy any apps and data. We have to read and agree to all of the Google services. We don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step. And we could never access any of these options before, so that is a very good indication that the lock has successfully been removed. There we go. It says we're all set up, so when we tap finish, yep, there we go. We've got the home screen loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, we're going to pop into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So in the settings, when we go down to About Tablet, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. There we go. And then that model number there, the SMT970, that's the model number of the specific device that we're working with here. So, if you have one of these Tab S7 Pluses from Samsung and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to assist you with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us.
All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.